Hey guys, Country Gaming here, back again on Beaver Creek in Pharma Sim 17. Uh, today I thought we would test out the Roper Narrow Row Mouse um, from the uh, Roper DLC pack that Giants um, released only earlier this week, um, the other day. Um, so as you can see I have it down at the BGA and it looks quite impressive, very big um, and I have a bunker with a bit of silo, silage, silo, silage in it <laughs> I should say. So we'll jump in this thing and help if I turn the engine on. Um, I have my volume of, on the uh, the equipment turned down because it can get a bit loud. Uh, so yeah, so um, I don't. The BGA isn't working at present only because it's. Um, um, I have the game extension, so it only work. It only runs at eight o'clock in the morning and eight o'clock at night in game. So we'll unfold this contraption. See how it folds out. Um, it doesn't. Apparently, it if you have a narrow bunker, it is a little. It's sometimes. As you can see, it's sometimes a little bit too wide to um, to fit. So it's better if you use one of these big bunkers. This is this map was made by Stevie, and he always does huge bunkers. So yeah, as you can see, you have a, a conveyor belt, and it does take silage, as we will find out. Um, let's see, I'll take you to the shop where you can buy the thing from. Um, uh, let's see, like best if I take you to the Roper department. So I'm not entirely too sure which um, or where you can get it from. So this is the Roper DLC stuff. Um, now what we have is the the this one here, uh, the Roper, the Roper narrower row mouse. It costs three hundred and twenty-eight thousand to buy. Um, it takes you can basically haul anything except. For for potatoes and sugar beets but that's only because this one here next to it the mouse s which costs three hundred and sixty thousand that one just does sugar beets um, so we're looking at this one <coughs> excuse me um, yeah so Basically, you know, like if you have anything, any grain or crop on the ground, um, it'll basically pick it up and stick it in a trailer for you. It's basically what it does. So it takes your usual crops, crop your standard crops, you know, your wheat, barley, canola, sunflowers, soybeans, corn. Um, I keep forgetting what these two are. One is silage, um, takes grass, um, straw, hay, um, yeah, straw, um, and I can't remember what the other ones stand for, but one of them is definitely silage. So, yeah, so I also have the Roper Tiger S uh, sugar beet harvester. 
and that's the header for it. Um, that one is the is the same as this one, but it only picks up the sh sugar beets. And then we have the potato um, harvester, which you just tow behind a tractor. So yeah. Um, anyway, so we will get back into this and we will see if we can um, get this thing organized. So we'll just adjust the that and we will drive this forward a bit um, as you can see you can like maneuver it anywhere you wish um, okay lower the header now this is the first time I've used this um, so I've never used it before Okay, lift header, I've just got to read the instructions here, fold header, unload, uh, rotate, oh well it would help if I turn the thing on, and okay so it's turned on, if I do that it highs it, lowers it, right, yeah funny so it just you know picks it up and it will drive up here it looks like it might have like a bit of a storage thing to it maybe Okay, let's see. Okay, so that looks like it's all set. Okay, now see if I have a trailer. I've, it's probably full. I do have a trailer over here, but I'm not sure if it's full of silage. Oh, well, it's got some in it. Okay, well. some silage in it. Let's see what this does. If I park this here and then you maneuver this there we go and it's filling up with silage cool now I'm not sure how far back this will go or, or how often you need to um, pull this through um, like when I say pull it through I mean like drive it forwards for it to collect the silage and it looks like it's um, yeah you need to like continue pushing it um, driving it forwards to collect to fill up okay looks like the tractors f trailer tractor <laughs> the trailer is full <laughs> yep Okay, so we'll see if we can dump this. Well, I think one of my silage bunkers is um, partly full. 
I don't know how much I don't think it'll take the whole trailer load oh, um, I do have field 3 we're being harvested with um, um, cotton it would help if I line this up correctly So, uh, get this thing straight. This second one, I think, is partly full. Okay, so that's empty full now. So, if I like was to fast forward time, this the BGA would turn on and start doing its thing. Um, so yeah so we'll leave this here for the time being turn that off and there goes my phone I should really put that on silent um, yeah so that's the uh, the roper mouse thing um, now we will go and see what the other things doing. The cotton is doing when I remember which one it's Yep, there it is. Oh what's happened to you? Okay, you're full. Okay, so this is the cotton that I planted like I think I planted this in the very first episode um, oh no he's not full he's just stuck because of this okay move you out the road you are in this dude's way buddy You're not supposed to be in the guy's way. Okay, so we will leave you there. Now behave. I don't know if you talk to your tractors like I do sometimes, but yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so that's the cotton. Um, as you can see, the cotton, it's white in colour. And it actually looks like... I'm not sure what actual cotton is meant to look like. Apart from what you sew with. Um, but it looks... I won't say sugar. It looks like I don't know what anyway so yeah so um, I need to do the animals as well and check the um, see how much we have I thought I'd do some sugar beet um, put some more sugar beets in the machine here to let's see how much we have um, okay so we need to top this thing up with water and we don't have any sugar beets in here and we're 57% full with beet pulp now this is for the pigs have a trailer over here which will we'll go around here and get some sugar beets to put in come on tractor move you move it <coughs> 
yeah so yeah I haven't been doing any videos for a while I think it's been for a couple of weeks um, only because I've been what have I been doing I've mainly been playing a lot on on a server that I go on yeah this is gonna be lined up properly yep okay see um, soybean, corn, potatoes, sugar beets. We got plenty of sugar beets. I think I got plenty of beet pulp in the storage as well. Walk we'll back out of here, save having to drive all the way around. Yeah, I haven't been on this map for a while. I um, think I came on it oh, last week, one day last week. And yeah, I came on here one day last week because what I was doing was I... Um, I thought of placing a storage building for... Um, the potato and sugar beet harvesters up by field five and six where I have my um, potato fields potato and sugar beet fields um, and um, but I had to like I was cutting down a couple of trees and I haven't finished doing that yet so yeah so you can see the beet pulp machine is running I'll just I'll, may as well fill this totally up um, I'm not sure if I'm going to need another trailer or not so yeah I'll get another trailer load of sugar beets may as well fill it up to the brim and top it up with water when I can remember where I put my water truck What we don't use in sugar beets so I can always we can always put back in storage at a later date okay, back or up again I should actually go around the other way because of the way I um, the way I set up the course play for the tractor for fit that's doing field three to offload. Okay, so we'll see how much of this stuff it'll take. I don't have it. this machine. Also takes sugar cane, the beet pulp machine. Um, as well but I, had, I don't have any sugar cane I think it takes quite a bit of sugar beets this thing looks like my lucerne field is ready to be harvested again I've got all these fields that's ready to be harvested. Um, I 
Well, there's the second load. A second load done. You're gonna get stuck on this thing. Don't get stuck. Good. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I've got this time at the moment set to uh, five times just so that. Um, just so I keep everything going in progress okay takes this thing doesn't take this trailer doesn't take long to fill up but it takes a little bit to unload um, if you want this trailer, um, I got this off the mod hub, the in-game mod hub in FarmSim. So it takes everything. Um, so that's where you can find it. It's um, the only thing is I find that with offloading it into the, into the silo here, the main silo. It um, you have to like position it, otherwise it hits the when it lifts up, it hits the roof. So just be aware of that. Now I don't want to get stuck again. Okay, so that's all you're going to take. You're obviously full. Okay, we'll offload this back into the silo again. I'll show you what I mean. Um, when we get over to the silo. Actually, so that just in case that trailer does that tractor comes back with the cotton we'll go around this way and there goes my phone again Is this like a where the bar is there? It um, it actually hits that bar. Actually, it's missed it by the look of it. Yeah, so you just got to be careful, like not to pull too far forward. Okay, lower it. Park this trailer back here. Yeah, so this episode, I suppose you could call it an episode, is a bit of a a whole heap of different stuff. It's not focusing on one thing. And it looks like the 
trailer is gone and got itself stuck. Yep. Obviously making a short work of this field. So it looks like he's nearly full anyway, the trailer. Um, yeah, so anyway, with the cotton, you can, well, there's not really any use for the cotton unlike um, unlike your other grains um, particularly on this map apart from selling it so we'll wait once this empties I'll move this tractor otherwise it's going to get in the road Um, I will sh we'll see how much it's going for. Uh, my animals aren't too bad by the look of it. So we'll find the cotton. Um, let's see if I can find the cotton somewhere. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where are you, cotton? Mm. Now the cotton. I think I went past it. I must have gone past it. I think this is the cotton here. This one. I think. Okay, so you can sell it at the home homegrown place. At present, the price is going for one thousand seven hundred and forty-two dollars, nearly two grand a litre, which is actually quite a good price. Um, and I think that's the only place you can sell it at. The look of it. Yep. And the homegrown place, I am not sure where that is. Not that I actually need any money at the moment. Just double. Oh no, hang on. No, that wasn't cotton. This is cotton. Yeah, this one here is cotton. Okay, so you can sell it at the grain mill, the home, the not the home grain, uh, Jabber's mill, and uh, King's mill sales. There's about three places you can sell it at. And yeah, so it's not too bad a price for it, which is pretty cool. Um, my fields, let's see, we own field seven, which has got barley on it. All of these are ready to go. Ready to go. Um, we've got potatoes and sugar beets on field five and six and field one is lucerne field f 18 is grass three is cotton eight i own eight but i don't think there's anything on it and i need to fertilize it
So I've got a bit. I've got a potato. Not a potato. I do have a. Um. We'll go and empty this off. I think. Um. I do have. <coughs> can't even think of what I was going to say now. How's that? Um, so yeah, don't you hate that? You know, like you're talking about something and then and then you forget what you're saying half, halfway through. <coughs> oh, oh yeah. Um, I have a manure spreader with full of manure, so I can always, you know use that to fertilize with so we'll dump this off in here and we'll get back to the harvester <coughs> I just have the harvester on um, hide worker. <clears throat> I didn't bother cosplay it because, like with these fields, with the Stevie map fields, a lot of them, unless you want to like join two fields together, like two or other two courses together, um, you. I find that you don't really need to cosplay it. Um, because the space between the ends of the field and the tree line which Stevie likes putting in um, there's plenty of room for your harvester to you know to turn around <coughs> so yeah so we will empty this dude again And and seeing that time is like got away from me again, which it always does. Um, I shall em uh, empty, uh, finish the video. That's better. Thought, why aren't you emptying? Um, yeah, so there we have it. You know, like you've seen the part of the cotton harvest, the the roper narrow row mouse or however whatever it's called for your silage though that you know saves having to use a having to use a normal conveyor belt I guess you can use that instead plus because it's got a motor and everything you can drive it around Um, to wherever you want okay where are you going you're not going to get in his way again are you I have no idea why you're sitting there. God, this is. You're in the road. I 
actually I'd better move you there now stay put right okay so um, <clears throat> Yeah, so anyway guys, I shall um, finish this episode and um, thank you all for watching. Um, if you want to see more um, Beaver Creek, uh, please feel free please leave a like um, subscribe if you're new to the channel you know all the rest of that sort of thing all of that sort of stuff um, and yeah and um, anyway I shall catch you uh, next time so um, yeah so thanks again guys catch you later